What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, we're going to talk today about can Luna Classic make it to a dollar? Now, not famously, but I gave you a prediction of 2.8 cents that I thought Luna Classic could get to during this bull run. And even that seems kind of far away. However, when I gave you that prediction, I had no idea how vast the Luna Classic ecosystem was becoming. Now, if you are not familiar with it, go back and look at some of the last few videos that I've done. Skip towards the end of it because at the end of each one of these, that's where I put these videos to give you an idea of what's really happening inside this ecosystem here so that you can see that not only uh, are you able to build on it. Now, DAPS, IBC hook just implemented. So DAPS, things like that, taking a little bit longer to come along. However, there is a fairly robust gaming system. There is a fairly robust system overall for you to come check out if you just give it an opportunity. Now, I can't tell you to give to, to, to do that, but when retail comes back, there's going to be a lot of people that are coming into this ecosystem. And the question would be, are you holding these tokens? Are you holding these potential gems that could be part of this vast sort of uh, explosion that leads Luna Classic to a dollar. Now, again, I gave you 2.8 cents. I think it's going to be more. Uh, as I go through this, there's things that are happening and there's conversations that are going on right now. And uh, look, we're, we're going to have to get rid of some bad actors. I'm going to show you a bad actor. You're not going to like it. Probably not going to like it anyway. But uh, I'm going to show you some bad actors because if you're staking with them, uh, they're keeping you down and they're preventing you. Look, you want your bag to get pumped, right? Isn't that what we're here for, to get that bag pumped so that we can create a vibrant ecosystem that people want to be part of and overcome the difficulties and obstacles that were presented? Well, if you want to do that, then you got to stake with the people who look after your better interest. And you have to ask yourself, is this person looking after my better interest? But we'll get to that in just a few moments. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. And let's kick this off with the first piece. We're going to start with the news. Then we're going to kick it off and then do a little bit of price action. Uh, and then we're going to get deep into uh, what this new project is. And we'll do it as quickly as possible. We'll get you out of here as quickly as we can. So let's kick it off. First, uh, there is a Terra Luna Classic proposal for a core team. Now, uh, this is in Coinpedia if you want to go check that out. And basically, the proposal uh, establishes a Terra Classic team currently up for voting. If it gets approved, this proposal would be paving the way to establish a permanent team to be remunerated monthly from the community pool. Now, uh, anybody who does not have your better interest at heart will tell you, well, that's just going to be a drain on the community pool. Everything is a drain on the community pool, even things that provide value. So when you say that, uh, that's... If you're falling for that, that's low-hanging fruit. Don't fall for stuff like that. The question is, will they create will they create value for that effort? And if we pick the right team, if we put the right team in place, value is created. But every whether there's value created or there's no value created, it will still drain that community pool. So don't let these people deceive you when they're telling you these things. So um, check it out. Decide how you want to vote. Uh, let me tell you, by the way, uh, I'm going to go over to this in one moment, but the other piece of news is uh, why buy Terra Classic amid bloodshed and uncertainty? And look, the the we're in the consolidation phase, and I've, t I've told you this before, and I tell you this all the time, but guys, just, just look at this chart right here. This is the, the bullish sort of breakout that you really are kind of looking for here. Uh, when I give you, it's just simple right here, this right here. Uh, along with this right here, that's giving you this this bearish or I'm sorry bullish sort of breakout pattern. And guess what? That's going to break to this upside, and we're going to have this nice big move. And that's all it takes. All it takes is just a little bit of patience to give this bull run the opportunity to manifest itself. Now, let's go look at the proposal. So the proposal was to establish a Terra Classic team, and uh, great idea. That that's to me. We, we want to have a team that's responsible in doing it. But for some reason, we have 55% no votes, despite early voting almost all being positive. And then we have one abstain. And it's not really super easy over here to do this. So we're going to go over to where the proposal is. Here's the proposal right here. Now, if you haven't already, connect your wallet and go to Lunk Dash. And you can see, remember, we did cover this previously. So go to Lunk Dash and you can see exactly who's voting. Who's voting no? Well, who voted yes? 
Interstellar Lounge, who has a, a huge percentage, uh, Lunk Forever, Lunk C for Lunk Forever, uh, Lunk Development Fund, uh, the LDF, Twingo, uh, Crypto Magma, POS Node, and BI Studio. Now, why the rest of them haven't done it already and shown their support? I don't know. I can't tell you that. Uh, I can't tell you that the people who are voting no, Jesus is Lord and Jesus is Lord too. Now, look at this. They're using 6% of their voting power to keep you from having a team representing you if you're sticking with Jesus is Lord. This is a mistake. And, and look, that is my opinion. You might disagree. You might be uh, incredibly conservative about the value of your money. You may not want that quote unquote community pool to be drained. And that's fair enough. I'm not telling you the community pool should be drained. However, how are you going to how, how are you going to create progress? How does that work? How does that work if you don't spend any money on anything and you question everybody and everything? Now, listen, a lot of this was founded on libertarian principles. I understand that. But at the end of the day, there, there has to be there, there has to be some progress and you cannot have progress if everybody works for free. I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. Professional developers get professional money. OK, but let me continue. Uh, then you have Luna Classic Labs who voted no. Then you have Solid Boat, Lunk Swap, Community First Lunk, Luna Nuts, LVS, Moon Rabbit Validator. Now, where do we get Moon Rabbit Validator? Oh, yeah, that's the one that was being paid $60,000 a month from Terraform Labs. Listen to what I'm saying again. Moon Rabbit was being paid $60,000 a month from Terraform Labs. Now, how were they distributing that money? Was Jesus is Lord getting some of it? Uh, and, and the purpose, by the way, for Terraform Labs to be doing this is they want to shut down Luna Classic. So you don't, you guys, I don't know if you understand this, but they want to shut down Luna Classic because they want you, 5.5 million holders, they want you guys to give up on Luna Classic and move over to Luna. That's what they want. That's their end goal. So when this happens, when you get this voting procedure and you see these people voting against the building of this chain. That's what they're doing. They're voting against the building of the chain. When they're doing that, what they're telling you is they they absolutely do not want to see this thing succeed. Okay, uh, they're gonna they're gonna disguise it. How do you disguise it? Uh, well, I don't want to see the community pool getting drained. I don't think this is a valid idea. I don't think this is good. Uh, but give me your money because I'm Jesus. I mean, does that make sense? I hope it does. I mean, I hope you're not questioning uh, what I'm saying. I mean, I, I hope you're questioning everything. But I hope you understand that you know. These people, they're bad actors. They're trying to stop you from succeeding. Now, none of us uh, are going to agree on everything. This is just my opinion. So if you have a different opinion, fine. Um, but I'm right. That's why I tell you I'm always right. So let's move on. So for the price action, uh, you've seen a nice little spike that happened over the last few hours, bumping off of the 50 uh, the 50 MA. By the way, I'm on a 15 minute chart right here because I was looking at closer uh, time variables here. And you see, we get a strong bounce every time we hit the 50. Now, we did in that little bearish move, that really bearish move, we broke down below, then we came back above the 100, which is the important one, right? That This yellow line right here represents the 100. So uh, we, we got a bounce off of it, 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 then we got a move up, and then we got supported by right here is where everything seems to have changed right there. So we didn't quite hit that 100, but we bounced off of the 50. That's where you start to see positive action. So then we came, got in a rush here. We bounced off of the 20. We broke down over the last two hours as some money's coming out of the market because it does sometimes come out of the market, bouncing off of the 50 right here. And then boom, now we're at 1100. We're up 7% on the day. So are we starting to see a big rally? Well, I think we're starting to see a little bit of a meme rally. I'm not sure how deep this is going to be, but we are seeing a rally. That's the important part. Um, how does that apply to USTC? Uh, does not apply to USTC. Got to bounce off of the 50, but it's not pumping. Now, it's a great opportunity to accumulate, by the way, USTC. I told you guys before, 1.8 cents, that's the go zone. That's the, that's the area in which um, you're going to feel pretty good about your decision. Now, when I move out here, by the way, because we're looking at short time frames here. Uh, when we look at this longer time frame, uh, and we kind of break this out just a little bit, uh, and you get this idea here, like what does that look like overall? Well, there's that move right down over here uh, where we had all this downward sort of momentum here. And if you will, if you if you can see what I'm talking about right here, uh, this big blue line right here, this represents the point of control. This is where all the accumulation is happening, right? See all the accumulation right there? Uh, everybody who got in on that got up to seven cents. Now, it came down here again. So what does that mean? Well, 
I think it's going to break out and come up here to about three cents. So I think that there's an opportunity for about a two X, uh, a, a pretty good run. Uh, could it break out into the seven cents? I mean, it's possible. I don't see the positivity out of it yet, but at some point there's going to be a, 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 a repeg proposal. I already submitted one and people are working on it. Apparently, I don't know for sure, but I think they are working on it. So interesting stuff here. Now, what does this mean? Well, if we start getting a little bit of volume into USTC and we get a little stability in the USTC price and we get that repeg and we start to do uh, some kind of spread tax or something like that, that, that puts it at three cents to start off or two cents to start off and then starts to bump it up as we go. And as we start to get through this whole process and we, and we, you know, we, it's an opportunity. It's, it's an incredible opportunity. And what happens when this thing just absolutely erupts? Well, uh, now you're looking at something where Luna Classic recovers. It, it recovers in a massive sort of way. Let's go over to the daily chart because fundamentally speaking, uh, you know, we're still in uh, this, this, this crazy, crazy dip that happened. Um, it doesn't look good, right? However, uh, as you can see right here, we broke down, but I got a feeling here that the market is trying to right itself and put itself back into this range, which means there could be a breakup into this two point, uh, this three zeros, 24 range before coming back down for another consolidation. And then there's a breakout. And then what does the breakout look like? Well, um, again, I gave you uh, three zeros, 32 as the spot. Well, that's just the impetus. That's the start of it. You know, 100x from here, 100x uh, from this range, which I believe we're about to head back into, 100x from there. Guys, it's very simple. That's 2.8 cents. That's where I gave it to you. Now, the question is, how much higher can that go? Because that's really basically a $70 billion market cap. Now, uh, what is the opportunity, to, to, what is the chance to get to a $70 billion market cap? Well, there's meme coins that are popping off. Remember, Dogecoin doesn't do anything and it had an $80 billion market cap at some point. So uh, a blockchain that actually has builders working on it. Uh, and, and again, everybody loves uh, a redemption story. So pay attention, watch what's going on and let's move on. Now, to close this out, we're going to talk about, we, and we got a little bit sidetracked here because I am passionate about this, guys. You should know that by now. Uh, but I'm going to show you. Research in crypto is so important. Guys, go to cryptonomy.finance slash research today and learn more about AI, DAOs, DeFi, gaming, layer one or layer two, uh, memes, gaming, NFTs, Web3, whatever you need to know, exploring meme coin trends, all the information is available to you. Now, make sure you sign up as a VIP or a pro member. Look at my fixed deposits, guys. You can see right now, I just put in another three ETH that I'm holding until April 5 of 2025. Let me show you the details here. So at the end of this, my scheduled interest is going to be 3.23 Ethereum. So I'm running three Ethereum for letting them hold on to it for one year as a staking process. I anticipate a fantastic payout from this. But guys, the big money is made over here on the launch pool. Make sure that you're checking it out. I'm a bronze member. Remember, I put in about 0.48 Bitcoin with an expected rate of return of 1 to 5x. I'm taking a risk here. If I only get a 1x, I, you know, I think I'll still be fine. But uh, as you can see right now, I've already accumulated 83,691 USDT for my efforts so far. How much Bitcoin is that? It's quite a bit. Go to cryptonomy.finance today and earn for yourself. A new, a new project here, and it's called FRAG, F-R-G. And it looks a little, and it goes a little something like this. Hit it. So this is part of the ecosystem. Uh, death, THC, food, and LNC. Uh, and then FRAG right here in the center. And I'm going to play you a couple of little videos here. One is a, a, pre, a preview video, and it's going to give you kind of an idea of what it looks like. And... Um, in the comment section, let me know what you think. Fair enough. All right, guys, now that's just a little bit of a preview of what it looks like. That's basically their ad. Let's go look at the actual gameplay. All right, let's go, baby. So FRG Frag is basically Lunk Zombie. And it's a side scrolling platformer, and you can. I got music. You guys watch.
Okay, so there you have it. If you want to go check this out, uh, I'm going to put the links down below and you can go check this game out uh, and you can start playing today. Just attach your wallet and start playing. Um, it's a lot of fun. I, you know, I enjoyed, I played uh, a limited amount and I really had a lot of fun. Now, uh, it's a side-scrolling shooter. So, uh, you know, let me know what you think, again, in the comments down below. And, um, you know, when you guys start to adopt stuff like this, when you start to get away from Jesus is Lord, when you start to get away from these validators who are voting no on proposals that benefit you, the community, when you start to embrace this kind of stuff, then guess what? We're going to end up at a dollar. We're not going to end up at 2.8 cents. We're going to end up at a dollar. But it takes you guys uh, getting in here and, and, and engaging with these projects. It takes you guys uh, getting away from these bad actor validators. And it takes you guys taking this thing to the next level. This is on you because this is a community project. You guys are the community. So LFG, baby, let's go. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. And by the way, go check out Frag, go check out Death, uh, go check out the entire ecosystem over there. And uh, you can scroll back if you want to see what each and every one of those were. Have a good day and we'll talk to you again very